Okay, next Disc Golf Mythbusters. There's our cars coming by. Uh, does MVP go further? Does gyro a thing? I got putters, I got mids, fairways, and distance drivers. It's gonna be a lot of throws. Um, for this one, I have three Lunas, a Maiden, P Model US, and then a bunch of Envies. So that's how we're gonna start. All right. I decided to just uh, mute this and voice over because I'm just throwing. Uh, yeah, so fast forward it to speed, two times speed. Um, the Envies are just the best throwing putter in the world. I had a sneaking suspicion that the mating, Maiden would go similar distance, um, which it did. The... Premium Plastic Envies are both overstable. And then the James Conrad Electron. I have James Conrad Electrons, not... Actually, yeah, there is one firm Electron. But basically, if you want the furthest flying putter you can find, get an, an Electron, any, any of the plastic, soft, normal, or hard. And then once it seasons in, it will go pretty much as far as your mid-ranges. Um, that's why I don't even have many mids in my bag anymore i usually just carry one buzz and that might not even be in the bag anymore as well the envy is so good but yeah the p model us is actually pretty overstable i didn't think it was going to be that overstable it was nice if you're a prodigy thrower i would recommend it same thing here two times speed just gonna run through these a few buzzes couple of hexes and then a mako and worship and a lion the lion i think is a four speed but i really have been growing to like the halo lion it really just follows whatever line you put it on but i thought the hexes were gonna go way further than they do and then the buzzes are i don't know i just feel like they didn't go that far You'll see later when I take a video of where they all landed. It's not that much further than the envies and the putters, so. Yeah, I don't, I'm trying to struggle to figure out where mids fit in my bag right now. Yeah. Alright. I'm not a mid thrower, so. Take this with a grain of salt. The hex, in theory, should go far, especially when you beat it in. But, I mean, the warship goes just as far. It's a six glide, so whatever. Did I throw these discs well? No. However, I've thrown them all before, and I do think that a lightweight Crave is identical to an overstable Halo Leopard. Fantastic discs. Highly recommend to literally any player. So these are all nine speeds with one eight speed, three insanities, uh, Volt, Savant, Vulture, Raptor, and then FX3 and FX4. Arguably the best speed in disc golf, which is why I was excited to throw them. The Glow Insanity is overstable. It's a great disc if you're looking for that stable to overstable Thunderbird kind of slot. The other Insanities I threw were pretty understable. I actually never throw them. So, I, it kind of was a wash on that one. But, here's a Glow Insanity, by the way. I threw it horribly. I tried to redo a lot of the throws, but it started to rain, so I had her stop early. The point being is I pretty I redid some throws, but I couldn't get them on camera. Nothing went drastically different. They all pretty much flew the same. 
The FX3 actually is flippier than the FX4. The Raptor I have, this new run, is pretty flippy. And the Savant's a great disc. If people sleep on the Savant. It's a great disc. I highly recommend that one, too. So here's where I thought the biggest difference would be. But, again, it wasn't. I have two waves in Fission Plastic. One is, like, 165 grams, and one is 169, I think. So the green one is 165, and it's flippy. And then the other Fission is only 4 grams heavier, and it's stable. And they both went the same distance. You'll see later. And then I have the Sorcerer, and the Sorcerer, the Sorcerer bombs. They're all 11-speed discs. Sorcerer was 169 grams as well, so kind of light. And then here we have just two 11-speeds that are overstable, uh, the Photon and Trespass. Again, no real difference. Uh, they're both the same weight as well. Yeah, I, I really don't think Gyro is a thing. I mean, I, I understand that it's a thing. Like, it's the perimeter weighting overmold. I get that. But as far as making a difference in flight, I I struggle to see any difference. Doesn't mean they're bad discs. A lot of them are great. One NV. Another NV. These are both overstable NVs. 90 yards. Ugh. Here's the Crave. Here's one of my furthest throwing envies. Okay, it is my furthest throwing envy. Uh, let's see what these are over here. Here's Okay, so here's the Maiden, a Luna. The Mako went a little bit further than them, and I thought that Mako bombed. Uh, here's that. Here's the Insanity I kind of missed through. So these are all, I mean, these two putters are about 10 feet in front of these Mako. So let's see how far these went. 170 yards. I mean, I'm throwing downhill, so it's easier gets. But, like, again, like, the Maiden really does give the Envy a run for its money. I, I assume it has nothing to do with gyro and just has to do with the rim thickness. But here's a Crave. And then here's a bunch of mids. I mean, here's my understable Luna. I went as far as this overstable Buzz. Here's a Reactor. Here's a... Warship, Hex, Hex, uh, Lion, Luna, Buzz. It is funny, like, if you like throwing mitt putters, throw putters. You don't really need to throw mitts. If you like throwing mitts, don't really worry about putters. 105 yards. So, I would, let's double check how far these, these guys went. 109. I mean, it's the difference is negligible. And then these two, 9 speed and 11 speed, same distance. I'm assuming 115 ish yards. Vulture, pretty much in line. Hades, I did not throw well. Uh, let's just, just for fun, 122 yards. There's a bomber to my left. Okay, so the crank that I missed through went shorter than my Raptor, which went a little bit shorter than my FX4. Let's see how far these went. 134 yards. Here's the FX3. And then, what is this called again? Trespass, trespass. Okay, I saw something over here. Where'd it go? Oh, yeah, here it is. Sorry, I was covering the lens a little bit there. This was a wave. This thing, despite being overstable, went a mile. 145 yards. 145 yards. Now, I threw a couple other bombs. Let's go find them. Okay, I passed Sorcerer. Sorcerer went. 146. And I think that one green wave... I, that was a smash. It didn't even didn't even flex back, fade back, whatever you want to call it. I think the last one I need to find is the green wave, but 
despite having a full turn on it. Ah, here it is. One forty-seven. Okay, so this went just as far as the pink wave, but the pink wave had no turn on it. Interesting stuff. This Volt went further than any other fairway, and it's an eight-speed. Um, so that's interesting. Went further than. All of these distance drivers went for went pretty much as far as these other uh, fairways. So what have I learned? I learned that disc golf really needs a robot to throw these because humans have error. But it does seem like the fission plastic goes pretty far. Um, I'm not sure how far the difference is between fission and non-fission. Um, but if I, if I had to put money on it, I would say the fission discs go a tad bit further. I would never get a max weight fission because the max weight wave didn't flip up. It's very interesting. Um, so I guess like a 170 gram distance driver for me would probably be perfect. But, I mean, they're, they're using science. I'm not trying to discredit science. I'm just not seeing it. I'm not seeing these gains. I would love to see these gains, but I'm not. So, I did learn that putters and mids go pretty much the same distance. I do think that the Envy is better bagging than most mids. It fades less. It beats in, goes dead straight. I think the NV is fantastic. I think the Hex is a great disc. But I'm definitely going to be bagging way less mids in the future. Way more putters. Softer landings, and they go just as far. If you have any questions, or if you've done the same test, let me know. I would love to talk. If you have a podcast and you want me on it, let me know. I would love to talk. It's like 90 degrees out. It's humid. So there should be a good bit of moisture in the air to flip everything up more. So, yeah. The only thing I really learned... The Envy is the best disc in the world, man. It is so good. All right. Thanks for watching the video. I really appreciate it. Have a good one.